Hello, my lovely little boys and ghouls. First of all, I want to apologize for my face makeup today. I used a foundation that I've used before, and I don't think it's been great before, but it just really, really isn't great today. Um, and then I used a new concealer, which is also super dry, so I'm not really feeling the way my face makeup looks today, but we're just going to roll with it because I just wanted to come on here today and do my eyes, kind of give you guys a little update. We're up over 80 subscribers now, and the giveaway is going to be going until we hit 100, so that's still going. I tried that um, Bliss Concealer today, and I'm not really loving how it looks. I just feel like it's a little bit dry. But we're going to go into something fun today and we're going to do our eyes with the Norvina palette. I haven't used this very much since I got it and um, I just wanted to dip into it today. So let's see what we're going to do. Let's start off. We're going to start off with the color base and we're going to use that all over our eye. That's just this little transition over here. Grab my mirror here. We're going to use that all over the lid. Ooh, that fluffed up a lot, but that's okay. As just a light, light, light transition. And then we're going to go in with another shade here in a moment. Just using a bit, the big fluffy um, Farrah brush here. We got this in, I believe it was Ipsy in December. I do really like this brush, but it is like a large fluffy brush, so not the most practical. And now we're going to go into the shade. Let's start with Passion, and we're going to use that in our outer corner. I'm just, I got a little fluffy or a little uh, dual ended brush here just for detail. And I'm going to use that in the outer corner of my eye. And then we'll go out and blend here in a moment. Not really 100% sure the look I want to create today. I just really love this um, palette and I feel like I have not given it enough love. It's a beautiful palette. I just haven't really used it much. It is newer to my collection and I usually like doing extreme eye looks and this palette is much more suited for an everyday eye look in my opinion. So I don't really pick it up much. Again, going dipping into the shade Passion with just this little tiny brush and putting that on the outer corner and into the crease. These shadows, like most Anastasia shadows, at least for me, do have quite a bit of kickback. But I don't really mind that so much. As I can still work with it, it just takes a little more effort. At least for me. And then going in with a little blending brush. This one is by BU Beautifully. It's just a fluffy blending brush and blending out those edges. Just slightly. I did try out one of the Bliss um, Lock and Key lipsticks yesterday. It was quite beautiful. It felt nice on the lips. And as you guys know, I did say I was going to be including some of those Bliss products in the giveaway. So I figured I had to try some of them. And I am also wearing one of the Bliss blushes today. The one I'm wearing, it was, um, I believe it was called Bellini Sunset. It was the light peach shade. The blushes are super pigmented. So you definitely, if you don't like a bold blush you're definitely going to need to use a light hand because I as I said that will be one of the items in the giveaway for sure. I am going to dip into the shade let's go into love which is this shade right here and we're going to take that on a fluffy brush as well and we're going to blend that above 
that passion color we just laid down. I'm going to use the, the large Farrow brush for this. And we're going to blend that all the way up through the crease. Oh, I need a, might need to throw in a smaller brush as well. Because right there in the inner corner, this brush isn't cutting it. Which is no big deal. And then back in with my blending brush just to blend the edge and try to get that down in the corner a little better. There we go. We are going to try a new product today here in just a few moments. One of the items I picked up in the drugstore haul, just using this as a um, Elizabeth Ma all over shadow brush. And I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to dip into Wild Child and we're going to see how well, how pigmented that is. As a lot of these shades tend to be topper kind of shades. But I think this will work out nicely for today. Oh no, that's fine. And then we'll go back in, of course, and lay Passion back down to bring it back out and just add that dimension. That shade is really pretty, though. Definitely going for a much lighter look today, you guys. Well, lighter for me, lighter shade-wise. It's still a, quite a dramatic eye look, but what is what is life without a little drama, right? At least for me. I don't like drama in my life, but I sure like my drama in my makeup. Now that shade is a little, um, a little light. I'm going to dip in here. Let me see if I can find a better brush for it. I'm going to dip in and I'm going to use a bit of setting spray. We're going to use the, this is an old My Glam brush, which if you guys know, if you guys have been with Ipsy long enough, you will know originally Ipsy was my glam. And this was one of my first favorite items with them. Spraying the brush with a little setting spray. Um, I just used, what is it? The e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set just because that's what I had sitting closest. So it was the first bottle I grabbed. And then going back in with that um, color on a wet brush just to even it out because it is a little bit patchy with a, a dry brush. just to get that nice, full, metallic effect. This shade is very beautiful for just an everyday shade. I just like my dramatic eyes. There we go. And we're going to go in and deepen our passion shade back up using that same little brush we used earlier just in the edge of the crease. And then on the the outer corner of the the outer corner. I'm not sure what I was going to say there, but just the outer corner. And then up into the crease. And then we'll blend it out. And then our shadow look is almost complete. Using our little blending brush just to kind of pull that out and blend it in a little bit. I got a little bit of fallout going on, so we'll go ahead and brush that away before it causes any issues. And then we're going to dip into one more shade. We're just going to go into Dreamer and use that as a highlight shade. For our inner corner and at our brow. Which this is not as bright of a highlight shade as I would usually use. But I don't feel like digging out another shadow. 
So we're going to roll with it. Because that's what we do here on this channel, right? We just kind of roll with things. I do still need to do my lower lash line. And I have not yet decided what we're going to be doing there. And then taking this up to the brow. I just, with my shadow under my brow, I lay it down. And then I'll grab a uh, fluffy brush and blend it out slightly. So there we have that eye. Laying our highlight shade down on this eye. I do need to wash my brushes, so I'm working with a very limited selection of brushes currently. And finally, we're going to do our lower lash line. We're going to dip in with that same little tiny brush. And let's go into, let's see. Let's dip into Celestial, which is this purple shade here. And we're going to drag that along our lower lash line. Just to smoke it out a bit. That shade is gorgeous. I wish I was using a different brush, but this is definitely going to work. I kind of want to really layer on the liner today, but we will see here in a moment. I just, I'm feeling it. Like I need a dramatic liner with this look. Oh, you guys, I'm hating my face makeup so much. And usually, at least lately, I have not been. I've been totally fine with the way my face makeup's been looking, but... We'll give this um, foundation one last shot. And if I don't like it, I'm decluttering it. I just, I can't. I cannot go, like I have decent skin for my age. And I cannot go with something that ages me. It makes no sense at all. And I did put on a moisturizer today. I did use a primer that I've used before. It just, yeah. So let's put this guy up real quick so she's out of our way. This is the shadow we have today. And we are going to go in with some nice black liner. We're going to use for our waterline, we're going to use the Rimmel Scandalize liner in black. I just like a nice bold, um black liner in the waterline like if i'm gonna put black i want it to come out very bold there we go i'm liking the shadow i think it's very pretty but for me personally it is very soft so we're going to go in with our scone tattooed liner. I don't even remember 100% sure where I got this. I like this because although it is a little dry and you have to kind of work with it along the lash line, um, it does create a very, very nice look overall. Trying to cover up my silly look while I'm putting on liner. So are we excited about this giveaway? This is the first time that I will be doing a giveaway. I just thought it would be kind of fun. I plan on doing giveaways when I do milestones and as I grow they will get bigger. Um, I can guarantee that whoever my winner is, though, will not be disappointed. Like I said, it's both prestige and high-end, or prestige and drugstore. You're going to get a little bit of everything. And I don't have an issue with when I announce the winner, if they um, contact me and let me know what kind of things they're interested in, I will do my best to stick within some of those parameters. 
I'm debating doing a colored mascara today, but then again, I want to do lashes, so I'm on the fence. I think I am going to go with the colored mascara and keep things nice and soft today. So let's go ahead and try to get a little bit of a wing going here. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this because I have my camera set just slightly different than usual. And apparently I chose just then to have a little bit of a hiccup, but that's okay. It's just a slight wing today. Keeping it kind of light. This side wants to give me a hard time, of course, because we can't just go on beautifully on both sides, can we? From what I can see, it's all right. My lighting in here is not very um, makeup friendly today, apparently. And let's go ahead. We're going to try the Maybelline Snap Scara today in the shade Black Cherry. And see what we think, because this will be my first time trying this product. Hopefully I don't, in a day full of regrets, hopefully I don't regret this one too, right? I may still throw on some lashes once I jump off of here. I'm not honestly seeing a whole lot of color out of this, personally. But it is quite a nice mascara. The wand's a little strange to me, though. Like, I think it's got a somewhat strange shape to it. But it's applying quite nicely. But I'm definitely not seeing... I can't figure out how to use this line of mascara on my lower lashes just because of the way the wand's curved. So that is the side with mascara. I'm not actually seeing, I'm really not seeing a whole lot of color. It is nice. I just don't see a whole lot of the um, color to it. But the mascara itself is quite nice. Like that's the lashes with and that's the lashes without. And I definitely like the way it looks. I just don't really see the color being as bold as I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be a bit redder. But that's just me personally. Honestly, I think for the majority of people, this would definitely be much, much better. Just me personally, I wanted it to be very bold. But like I said, it does apply nicely. I will be using it. Because I have no issues with the way it applies or anything like that. It's very nice. It just isn't the kind of shade that I was looking for when I bought a colored mascara. Now, while we are going to go ahead and go in and do our lips real quick. And I'm going to be smart today. I'm going to use the lip primer. Because the lippy I wore yesterday bled so bad. So we're using, this is the NYX lip primer. I did already use a, um, a lip scrub. And I used my Jouer lip conditioner. And let that set on my lips while I was doing my face makeup. And then we're going to use the Rimmel Stay Satin Lip Color. I forgot what shade I got. I got the shade Have a Cow. And we'll see how this goes because I'm just, I'm kind of over the dry lips right now. This applies very nicely and it, it actually smells good too. But 
but this definitely applies nice and smooth. It smells good. It feels good on the lips. It doesn't feel like it's going to be a super dry formula. So it does make me happy I used the primer. This does look really nice, you guys. That is the Rimmel Stay Satin Lip Color in the shade Have a Cow. And I think it's quite beautiful. The mascara is nice. I don't feel it's as burgundy as I personally wanted it to be, but the mascara itself is a really nice formula. So that is it for today, you guys. Be sure and enter the giveaway. The giveaway video is posted. I have purple hair in the video, so that's just a little um, hint as to where to find it. I will talk to you lovelies on the next one. I might do an update tonight um, to see how some of this stuff wore, but I'm not 100% sure. It kind of depends on how tired I am after work. But yeah, I'll see you lovelies on the next one. Bye!